good evening all of you welcome to english class english coaching class i am your teacher ashik rahman where i'll be teaching english in our last class we have i have given you the introduction to the chapter from flamingo that is third chapter deep water okay i have given introduction and our introduction class was in two part part 1 part 2 okay part 1 i have taken the given the clear and detailed idea uh, about i have brought you down giving about the life what is life how the fear generate what is fear is known as phobia what is the uh, fear that author william douglas in early stage he faces we have discussed those all things in our last class that is introduction class i have taken into two parts so today i will be elaborating the chapter line was i will be elaborating the chapter okay deep water by william douglas so in the last class i have shared the theme the introduction theme title and connecting to those all information related to the chapter vocabulary the vocabulary part i have also discussed with your students today we will begin with the line wise explanation here in the picture you can see clearly here here this is giving a clear idea okay if this is giving a clear idea here you can see it here the picture i am taking circular okay the am and here how one is drowning in the water in the picture in the top heading you can see so it's giving the clear idea about it okay so this is uh, the chapter named deep water written by william douglas i have told you i have shared you it is a autobiographical script written by william douglas means it is a, about his life he has written william douglas so william douglas about his character or about the author i have given the idea in the introduction class so as is a custom ritual that in the text there is a information about william douglas i will be sharing with that then we'll go further uh, william douglas was born in maine minnesota after graduating with bachelor of arts in english and economics he spent two years teaching high school yakima okay he he spent two years teaching in high school in yakima so he has done bachelor of arts in english and economics he has done in two subjects one is english and economics so he has he, uh, he spent two years of teaching he was a teacher in the high school of yakima yakima is a place how we got tired of this and decided to pursue a legal career okay so legal career students you can clearly understand legal career career here lawyer and in that professional work of being a lawyer whatever things required he started doing it he met Franklin D Roosevelt at Yale and become an advisor and friend to the president to I, I told in the last class students i have shared a quotation of Franklin D Roosevelt okay i hope you have remember it i have told you in the last class means the last part toward the end of the chapter i will be asking you regarding that quotation okay so i i have said you to remember the quotation what did franklin said in that quotation i have shared the quotation in the in the slide in, in my last class okay so if you want to see i'll be sharing that in the description with the link in this video of line wise description you can click and see the introduction what was the quotation if you have missed it also you can catch me in youtube and the, clearly whatever we have discussed in the last class it is clearly available in the youtube right now if you can see uh, both the uh, part 1 and part 2 okay so he met franklin b roosevelt at yell and become an advisor and friend to president so who was franklin during that time he is a president okay so douglas was a leading advocate of individual right okay being an individual we had our rights our duties our obligations so he is of rights individual rights he was he was advocate of that he was fighting for individual and okay so he retired in 1975 he retired in 1975 with a term lasting 36 years and remain the longest 
serving justice in the history of the court. Okay, so he his term, his tenure was long time, and that is thirty six years. Okay, he served in the court. The following excerpt is taken from of men and mountains from which book i have told in the last class this is taken from the a piece of writing that is men and mountains by william douglas from that this piece this chapter has been extracted okay so it reveals how as a young boy william douglas nearly drowned in a swimming pool see students i'll tell you a fact before going to elaboration of the chapter what is the fact here dekho her ek dil bacha hota hai That means the the child the heart we we possess into our body that heart we I am telling it's like a child means child means like kid okay and means that kid means that means kids are very sensitive very sensitive the heart we bore inside our inside our body that is very sensitive okay so the words what we are using it the the thing what we are doing it must be in the same way. must be in the same way similar what is saying here okay so <coughs> what is saying here that he uh, sorry he retired in 1975 and a term lasting 36 years and remain the longest serving justice in the history of the court he has served for a long time okay the following is taken from a this is a piece taken from this book men and mountain by william douglas before going for discussion it reveals how as a young boy see i was telling i have been a young boy in the early days what happens in your individual's life anyone it, it may be you it may be i it may be anyone okay i told you dil to bachcha hai okay so dil to bachcha hai means heart is treated like a kid as a kid they are very sensitive the heart is our very sensitive we treat we get any shocking news sometimes someone get heart attack when the similar way the kid something shocking happens to them when it is saved in the brain and what happens to them that remain that fear remains in the brain the action remain in the brain and whenever they come in the early means later on days in their life when the same situation comes that action returns to their mind and they started fearing okay they starts fearing it may be you it may be me whoever it may be whenever some teacher starts beating to someone okay and you once you have got some bit to know the teacher is beating okay and you get fear of that teacher you never ask to him or her okay similar way when the early childhood days when in, in the childhood days this happens with everyone so this is a example this is a live example with william douglas he shared it what okay so what was the thing what did he shared it yeah i have underlined here you can look into it it is very clear. it reveals how a young boy william douglas nearly drowned in a swimming pool so and this uh, idea i hope uh, it might be looking absurd to you how someone can be drowned in a swimming pool okay it may be absurd to you but students this is the fact what william douglas faced it in the early days of his life in this essay he talks about his fear of water and thereafter how he finally overcame it so how did he face the fear of his and this uh, had the drowning in water in the early days of his life in the early days of his life means in the childhood days and that fear of water remain in his mind in his brain in his heart everywhere whenever he goes near the water this fear returns to him So notice how the autobiographical part of the selection is used to support his discussion of his fear. This is autobiographical, and in this part, it is shown how he is fearing, and he has discussed, he has shown, shared his experience to us. Okay, students, you can see the experience. How he is sharing his experience. See, in our last class, I have shared the discuss the vocab section here. and uh, this vocabulary is i have discussed in uh, in the introductory part so i won't be wasting any time in the discussing the vocabulary i'll be coming to the chapter directly okay so it had happened when i was 10 or 11 years old okay the poet the writer william douglas is talking that it had happened when i was 10 or 11 years old 
means when he was at the age of near to 10 or 11 years old he is see uh, the writer is doing the flashback going uh, just putting the uh, his just recalling his uh, recall events is given it i decided to learn to swim what he has decided he decided to learn to swim at the which age 10 to 11 got it underline the point and remember if you have a copy write it down in a copy if you have a book mark it down in a book textbook and underline it at what age he started learning 10 or 11 okay got it students i had decided to learn to swim what he has decided to learn to swim he decided to learn to swim the idea is clear there was a pool yes yeah, someone is yes very good so that that should be there active you must reply when you are able to understand if you're not no okay so there was a pool at the ymca in yakima where exactly the ymca i have given the uh, meaning vocabulary what do you mean by ymc so students the meaning you might have remember it okay uh, so if not i'll share again i'm re reminding you i'll be click, uh, giving the link you can click in and you can see those informations again so uh, there was a pool at ymca in yakima that offered exactly the same opportunity what is the same opportunity any idea same opportunity refers to the part of learning swimming okay so ymca pool in Yakima exactly offer the same means in the program for the kids that they can learn how to swim. The Yakima river got the idea. Okay. Till here. I hope you have uh, yeah swimming. Yeah. So uh, the Yakima river. So till here, I hope students you have understood till here. Okay. Uh, and next, what is talking in the next line? Try to understand here. Two events are uh, parallelly written. Okay, when one event is described, the event you can easily understand. When two events are connected and described, it looks something different. The Yakima River was treacherous. Okay, treacherous means deep and wet and shallow. Okay, and it is a now what we can say it's a dangerous river, alarming river. Which one? Which one? It is not. I am not talking about the pool. I am talking about the river. It is there in Yakima. Okay. The Yakima river was treacherous. Okay. The mother continue, continually warned against it. Whose mother? Yes. Whose mother students? William Douglas' mother. The author's mother continuously warned that there is a what problem? You must not go to Yakima river. Okay. Yeah, author's mother. Fine, fine, fine. And kept fresh in my mind and the details of drowning in the river. And she said that how people are drowning in the river. Which river? Yakima River. How people are drowning. That information was shared by the mother. But what happened? Look at here. But the YMCA pool was safe. Here comparison is done. Yakima river is treacherous, dangerous, people are drowning. But which one is safe? The YMCA pool was safe. Okay, clear, understood, students? It was only two or three feet deep at the swallow end. Only what? Yes, underline it. Underline it here. Okay. Underline it here. It was only two or three feet deep at the swallow end, while it was nine feet deep at the other. The drop was gradual. See, you have you might have seen the swimming pool. In the each side means uh, it is like a square or a rectangular. Okay, so stairs are made. You can go down while walking in a stairs in the middle of the swimming pool. So the uh, it, the length. What is the length? Two to three feet deep at, at the swallow, and in the middle of that, it's two to three feet deep in the middle. While it was 9 feet deep at the other end, to other end, 9 feet deep. And drop was gradual. Drop was gradual means as the swimming pool was in a, like a stairs, drop was gradual. If you will go walking, it will, it will, you can drop inside. Okay. I hope students are able to understand. Okay. Yes, sir. Very good. Very good. That I needed. When you are able to understand, you must reply. Yes. I got a pair of water wings. Till here, the idea is clear. 
how was the uh, description of uh, why, why, uh, Yakima River, YMCA pool was safe, and uh, at what age he was prepared? He was prepared uh, at what age he was prepared for learning for swimming 10 to 11. Why did he go for learning? He go to you know, which pool? YMCA pool in Yakima. Clear as students? I hope you have understood. I got a pair of water wings and went to the pool. What did you do? I got a pair of water wings. So wings, birds have to fly and in the pool it is need to, you can be, you can survive on the top of the surface. You can be survive on the top of the surface and went to the pool. He took those wings and he went to the pool. I hated to walk. The narrative sharing is personal view. What did he hate? I hated to walk. He did not like to walk. He is lazy. We can say even okay, like this uh, present day boys. Uh, there is a the pictorial uh, description Yakima River where it is situated. Okay, as per your NCRT text, north south the direction Yakima is a tributary of. Columbia River in eastern Washington, USA. The state is named after the indigenous Yakama people. After Yakama people, this, this place was named as, this river was named at Yakima. Okay, so his historical des description is also given about the Yakima River, where it is located, eastern Washington in USA. Okay, students, you got the idea about the river. Now continue. So, I, uh, I what, did, uh, what the writer is saying here. I hated to walk, which was how he hated to walk naked into it and show my skinny legs. Sorry, what the writer is saying? He did not like going naked, body showing the uh, bare body, and as he was lean and thin. Okay, he is like a lean and thin. Okay, he is a lean and thin guy, and skinny legs are very uh, what like a drumstick legs, very like a small uh, thin legs. But I subdued my pride and I did it. He left his, what pride? He left his, that uh, uh, rapo, the rapo, no, I won't do it. He left it and he came out to do it. What, to learn the enthusiasm, the determination, to learn what to swim. So he came to the place, which place? YMCA pool. I hope students still here, you have understood. Yes. Quickly write it down. Yeah. For, for next. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes. That's correct. That's good. Uh, that's good. That shows that you are active and you are paying attention to the class. From the beginning, however, I had an aversion. Okay. I had an aversion. When you have attraction, you go to it. When you have repay, you don't go to it. So I had an aversion to water. He, he has no attraction. Opposite of attraction, it's repaid. He has a fear of water, aversion to the water when I was in. Okay, so he had a, a aversion to water whenever he, he goes near to it. Okay, okay, okay. One student is asking to explain the li one line again. Okay, fine, I'll be explaining it. So, here, here, what is that line here? Huh, but I subdued my pride and did it. See, subdued my pride and I did. Pride, individuals, being an individual, having a pride. What we can say, uh, I'm proud of doing something. Or I, I have a pride. Uh, we so, I suppose uh, one of your friend invites, for an example, uh, one, one friend of yours is having a birthday party. He invited the neighbor friend of yours, but he did not invite you. But she's calling, you must come with me to her his invitation and uh, show him that uh, I am your friend without invitation, I can come. Okay, so you have your pride, you have your individual, I have my own respect. So what you did it? No, I won't go. Tell him I won't go. He did not invite me. You have shown your pride. But here he's saying it. I subdued my pride. He did not show that. No, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not comfortable with skinny body. I am not comfortable with bare body. I must not go. But he avoided that and he went out. 
what he went for learning swimming. I hope the lines are clear, students. Okay, uh, siding the uh, siding the pride and he walked naked. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's correct. He kept it aside the pride and he went for uh, what learning swimming. Okay, yeah, I hope you have understood the lines. If yes. Uh, write it down quickly. I will get it that you have understood it. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good. Uh, the, yes, very good. Okay. Uh, next one, we'll see. So, come to the next paragraph. From the beginning, however, I had an aversion to the water. He was not having an attraction, he was having aversion, means fear of water he was having. From the beginning, who? The writer is saying, I had an aversion to the water. From the very beginning, from the very initial days, he had the fear of water. This started when I was, right now you underline the lines, pay attention, underline it. Again, two different ideas are coming together. Two different ideas are coming together. See, uh, this started when I was three and I'm underlining it. Yeah, I'm underlining it. I was three or four years old and father took me to the beach in California. Okay, he's describing the beginning event when this idea of fear of water came in his mind. Okay, got it, students? At what age? Three or four years old. Got it? At what age he went to YMCA pool? Write it down quickly. In the chat box, write it down quickly, students. At what age he went to YMCA pool? At what age? Quickly write it down. I need the answer, students, quick. All, all must answer. Yes, at what age he went to YMCA pool? Very good. 10 or 11. Yes, very good. 10 or 11. Yes, yes, that's correct. All are correct. All are correct. He, at the age of 10 or 11, he went to YMCA pool. Okay, 10 or 11. And see, being in the pool, he is recalling, he is coming to the flashback and describing the what early days when he had a fear of water. So, what, what age? 3 or 4. 3 or 4. And, uh, and father took me to the beach. Which beach? California beach. Got it clear? Eh? He and I stood together in the surf. Surf, movement of beach, means tide coming off tide. Okay, he was at the shore. When time is coming, tide is coming up and down, up and down, tide is coming, they were at the shore. I hung on to him. He, as you know, father, small boy, small child, three or four, he was on the back of him. I hung on, on to him. Yet the waves knocked me down and swept me over. The, after that also, the wave, waves were so high, so fast, so dangerous that he knocked him down. He, he fell down from the back of the father in the water. Got it? Understood, Ilya? I was buried after that. He fell down and he was buried in the water and water was above him. Okay, the tides are coming, waves are coming. Okay, so he was under the water. I was buried in water. My breath was gone. And when you are under the water, if you will take the breath, the water will go inside the body. And with the fear, as he fell down, he was not able to, my breath was gone. He was not able to take his breathing. I was frightened. He was shocked, afraid. Okay. My father laughed. So what happened in the scene? Might you have seen it in your school's school with you while playing? You might have fell down while walking in the stairs. You might have slept down while eating. Your foot might have fallen down. In those situations, when your friends start laughing at you, what happened? You feel ashamed. You feel very bad. They have, all the friends are looking at you and they are laughing at you. Okay, students, they are laughing at you that make you feel bad. Similar way, this boy has fallen down and father was laughing at him. By this situation, but there was a terror in my heart. By this situation, he was terrified. Father could have assured him nothing had happened. You're a brave boy giving a positive words. He might not, the uh, fear of water might not stuck in his heart and brain. Okay, in the heart or Brain. But here, what happened seeing in this situation, father started laughing. Who was the energy of the boy? He started laughing. In this situation, there was a terror. There was a terror in my heart at the overpowering force of the wave. Again, the waves was coming and he was terrified. I hope all of you have understood this paragraph. 
is if any doubt write it down quickly we'll i'll go to the next paragraph okay if there is any doubt I'll write it down quickly if there is no doubt i'll go to next paragraph okay i all have understood very good thank you students okay so my introduction to the ymca my introduction to the ymca okay my introduction to the ymca swimming pool revived unpleasant memories okay so when you have a, a bad memory with your one friend or some place whenever you go to the same place with some same friend what happened you are really those memories those situation return to you okay those situation comes back to your brain come back to your heart okay so similarly what happened um, uh, my introduction to the ymc pool was revived my introduction to the ymca pool was revived unpleasant memories when you reached the ymca pool seeing the water those old memories returned okay those old memories returned and stirred childish fear in the childhood days that fear was there that returned him back to his mind got it clear eh? but but in a little while i gathered confidence see the fear will always come but you have to have your patience and you have to gather your confidence to fight back with that fear so similarly the boy was doing the same i gathered the confidence i paddled with my new water wings so we had a water wings used in a leg okay used in a leg watching other boys and trying to learn by acting them what happened when you are new to something you keep on watching what this boy what that boy is doing what that girl is doing you keep on watching others and you learn from your peers from the other friends other mates similarly what happened he started looking to others what they are doing at the swimming pool and trying to gather his confidence who is trying to gather his confidence the boy the author william douglas is trying to gather his confidence understood students i did this two or three times two or three times on different days and was just beginning to feel at ease in the water when the misadventure happened so what happened try to understand i did this two or three times on different days so first day when he came to the water swimming pool and he did not with the fear was there he did not enter inside the pool so like this paddling and watching the others he did it twice or thrice on different days and was just beginning to feel at ease two to three days he watched everyone and now he was feeling comfortable and the water in the water when the misadventure happened there was some misadventure not adventure adventure misadventure when some something wrong happened with him okay he did not like it okay students you have understood yes replies yes uh, replies yes okay we will go to the next paragraph reply yeah 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 that's good that's good that is good okay we'll go to the next paragraph <clears throat> i went to the pool when no one else was there so he's described na miss adventure now he's describing a miss adventure what or how it actually happened i went to the pool when no one else was there when no one else was there in the pool the place was quiet okay so when you have a certain problem with something you try to reach early it try you give your efforts more suppose you are weak in maths you try to give your efforts more because you are weak okay suppose you are weak in physics you try to give more efforts in physics suppose you are weak in english you give more efforts on english so similarly that boy was having fear of water so that's why he came early when there was no one seeing the water he can ease himself he can make his mind adjust with the environment then he can take his steps to learn swimming <clears throat> the place was quiet the water was still 
the tiled bottom was as white and clean as bathtub. Means water was steely. There was no movement. No one was inside the pool. He was just sitting, and it was clearly visible bottom of the pool. Got it? The bottom of the pool was clearly visible. <coughs> Like as is clearly visible in Bata. I was timid about going in alone. Just a little bit. Again, fear came to his mind. He was not ease. Little bit timid about going in alone. There again, sudden fear came in his mind. He did not take the steps easily. So I sat on the side of the pool to wait for others. He sat there. Let other comes. Let other do, and you will see them. And you will take the steps accordingly. Understood? Okay. So you waited for this. I had not been there long when in came a big bruiser. Came a big bruiser. I've told you in the last class. Again, big bruiser, heavy, muscular, um, eighteen years, nineteen years boy, heavy, heavy physique. Okay. Of a boy, probably eighteen years old. Okay, eighteen years old, having heavy physics, too muscular, chest, a big, tall height. Okay, hatta hatta, no jawan bolo jaya. We can say like that. So he had thick hairs on the chest, thick hairs. He was a beautiful specimen with legs and arms that showed rippling muscles. So he was having a rippling muscles, arm, chest, everywhere. Okay, and. He yelled, <coughs> "Hi, skinny. How would you like to be dug?" Hi, skinny. What did he say? He said it. Hi, skinny. How would you like to be dug? How dug? You can so so you forcefully dug someone means you pull someone and you just fix him in the ground. Okay, so he is asking, "How would you like to be dug?" Who is asking? The the bruiser boy, big bruiser boy, is asking. The skinny, skinny is the the author, narrator. That is William Douglas. Okay, understood, students. I hope all of you have understood. So let's go to the next paragraph. With that, he picked me up and tossed me into the deep end. So what did he do? He Picked me up. He picked me up. I am in the same position. Suppose this does this is kept in this way, and he inserted his hand, and the same way he picked it up. Okay, as the position the boy was sitting in the same position, he lifted him in single hand. Okay, as the WWE or WWF, you might have seen the wrestlers uh, just. Uh, Lift the opponents and throw them downstairs like choke slam. They uh, gave it to the other opponents. You might have seen it. You have idea about it. So similar way, he just lifted and he is going to throw. See what happened. Uh, setting position. Uh huh. Uh, tossed me into the deep end. I landed in the same setting position as he was setting. Same setting position. He landed. Uh, landed. I landed in the same sitting position, swallowed water, and went at once to the bottom. In once, in a single way, he went to the bottom. Okay, so one go, he went to the bottom. So he has so force he has used it. So I was frightened, but not yet frightened out of my wits. Mark it down, underline it. I was frightened. Okay, what the narrator is talking about? I was frightened. He was afraid. He was tensed. Okay, who? Right. But not yet frightened out my wits. Okay, the clever mind, the five sense or six sense. What we talk about? His sense was active. His brain was active, and you want that? Uh, that his mind was active. So his brain was active. He can use his brain. To come out or to do the solve the problem, what he was facing is so what was he doing? He was already having the fear of water. Due to fear of water, he was not able to enter inside the swimming pool. 
and uh, what happened uh, miss adventure took place with him okay and the mind was active and in that he want to he planned something on the way down what happened on the way down i planned when my feet hit the bottom what did he do what did he plan when my he made a planning okay what did he do on the way uh, way down i planned when my feet hit the bottom i would make a big jump so and i am underlining it if you have a text underline the same okay i was frightened but not yet frightened out of my wits on the way down i planned this from here he made it plan when my feet hit the bottom i would make a big jump when his body see when uh, the body is going inside the pool inside the pool so what happened big jump so when the body will reach so this is the base of the base of the swimming pool the body will come and reach at the base of the swimming pool immediately he will jump like a cork when the cork will hit it will jump so similarly he is planning i would big i uh, will make a big jump come to the surface lie flat on it on it so he will come to the surface and he will lie flat on it and paddle to the edge and he will do the paddling and he will reach to the edge of the pool so in the very first go this was the planning